This week, 68 stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 62,867. BP Pulse added one station, Flow added seven, but it should be noted their stall count actually decreased. Pilot Flying J added six stations, Electrify America added two, Tesla added none again. And obviously that's just entries in the database missing the obviously open station. We just don't have a way of tracking them right now through the Alternative Fuels Data Center. ChargePoint added 29, EVgo added one, EV Connect added 16, but similar to Flow, their stall count decreased and their station count decreased as well. Rivian Adventure Network added none, but they did have three additional upgrades, which I'll call out here in just a second. Let's get into the data. First BP Pulse, six stalls in Tampa, Florida at a Thornton's. There's no pictures in plug share, but Tampa Chris did confirm that the station is actually open. Opened just yesterday. Here's Flow, seven stations op opened, all of them one stall. This is what the one at the London airport looks like. And I'm guessing most of them look similar. It's, that's how they deploy their one stall stations. Pilot Flying J had a very good week. They opened six. Uh, Emporia, Kansas is a Nevi site. Uh, so that's the Nevi program is still rolling along. This one is the closest pilot flying J to my house, and I've been watching it for a while. It did finally open. Electrify America added two stations. This is the four stall station in Phoenix, Arizona, and um, it was an upgrade. But if you look over here at the open date, this is what through my uh, searches in the past to miss stations like this because it's an open date of 2023 so i would not have caught that because i used to weed out everything like in the past year or or look at data just in the past year but for electrify america in particular i've opened it up basically to the entire database it makes my queries run a little bit longer but at least i catch everything now here's charge point having another very good week couple things to call out and I couldn't find any good pictures. I looked at all these ones that were three and four and I couldn't find any pictures. They're just stations that are too new apparently. <clears throat> couple things to call out here is the, uh, where is it? Noria in Marlboro. There's another Noria in Gardner, uh, Massachusetts. So two, actually three in Massachusetts. Um, Rock Hill Ford is very close to me, a four stall charge point station. I don't have any pictures of that yet. I am going on a road trip this weekend, so I might be able to swing by there and take a look. And uh, otherwise, ChargePoint just doing what ChargePoint does, having a very good week. Here's an EVgo station that opened, and I had my eye on this. A viewer chimed in and informed me about this <coughs> uh, getting <coughs> built. And <coughs> I kind of expected this might be one of those uh, GM Energy flagship locations which would indicate they were going to be putting a canopy over it. But this is not a can this is not a flagship location. This is just eight stalls in Jacksonville, Florida, close to Interstate 95 and not too far away from Interstate 10, but very nice looking station. Now open. EV Connect, most of these <clears throat> are a continuation of the Duke Energy conversion from uh, Shell Sky to EV Connect, but some of them are not. For instance, in Roseville, California, there is a four stall station, and in Woodcliffe Lake, New Jersey, a two stall station. <coughs> Looks like Avon, Connecticut as well, Florence, Alabama. Here's the three Rivian Rip and Replaces, uh, Whittier, North Carolina, Waynesboro, Virginia, and Blowing Rock, North Carolina. All had Rip and Replaces to version 1.5 dispensers. And I did check on PlugShare. I don't see any updated photos on PlugShare yet. In fact, on some of these, I see pictures back in March 15th of the version 1.0 dispensers. So Rivian must really have the process of replacing these dispensers down, and it must go very quickly because... If I've got a picture on uh, March 15th of the station being used with a uh, version 1.0 dispenser, and now we have version 1.5 dispensers like two weeks later, that's a pretty effective uh, rip and replace process they have got uh, going on here. And it looks like they're you know, rolling right along and are getting ready to do all of them. That's kind of what it feels like to me. 
An honorable mention is Blink. They had a very good week, a continuation of very high activity in the Blink network over the past several weeks. Uh, Four Stall Station in Fort Payne, Alabama. I did look. I couldn't find a picture of this. Um, Glastonbury, Connecticut. Four Stalls. Despairs, Missouri. This one I did look up, and it looked like it was a 60-kilowatt build. And Blink does custom builds for customers. So basically all the um, requirements are gathered, and then they build to the customer specifications. Uh, at least most of the time. Sometimes they build stations on their own. And uh, lots of other good things going on here with Blink. Thanks for watching.